morning. So it's a lot of fun to hear from these new users, like Ehrlichin and SVAB, but it's also important that we talk to some of the veteran OpenStack users who have been doing this for a few years. They can tell us about how they've been growing and also some of the challenges they've faced and, and what they've learned. So we're really fortunate to have Tillman here today, thank you, um, to tell us a little bit about their journey at Volkswagen. So maybe you can tell us a little about your role in, um, at, on the project. Yeah, thanks. Um, first, thanks to, to have me here uh, besides this cozy fireplace. Um, yeah, um, I've been with Volkswagen for quite some time, and um, it, I was eager to, uh, to get into new technologies. Overall, I was um, responsible for implementing and um, operating the whole OpenStack cloud of Volkswagen. Um, we started off two and a half years ago. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, uh, so responsibilities are operations, stability, functionality, these kind of stuff, security. Yeah. So when I asked you, you know, about some of the drivers, you or you know, some of the reasons why you got started with OpenStack, you mentioned a little bit about the automotive industry. Can you tell me what what's changed over the last couple of years? So. Uh, our industry, automotive industry, is changing a lot. Um, it might not be f as fast changing as banking, but we see uh, a move from only or merely uh, producing cars to producing cars and offering services on top of it. Mostly mobility services like traffic predictions and stuff, but others as well. So this is a broader, uh, uh, the broader context. and. Uh, we are a very, very cost-sensitive uh, business. This is crucial to us. Great. So what specifically, you know, you mentioned cost for some of those, those business drivers that started you down this path. So, yeah, we choose OpenStack because it, it seemed natural to, um, uh, to be in control of the, uh, uh, of the infrastructure with, uh, which will, um, will be supporting all these kind of new business models. Um, uh, we see a huge uh, cost benefit on this. And at the time we started, uh, there was still lots of uncertainty about the GDPR. Yeah. So um, this was an argument at that time, too. Yeah. Well, can you tell me a little bit about what you've done since then? What's the scale of, of the cloud that you're running? So we have a couple of a hundred uh, projects, lots of customers internally which use the cloud, uh, which are actually very happy to use this. We serve the whole Volkswagen group. To um, say this uh, out loud, it's not only Volkswagen, it's Audi, it's Skoda, it's MAN. So we have 12 brands uh, in total, um, very different ones from heavy um, trucks to, to small cars. Can you tell me about some of the applications or some of the actual projects that you've done on the OpenStack Cloud? Yeah, uh, certainly I can. Um, we do have the Volkswagen sales website, so Volkswagen DE um, on-site, uh, the Open uh, uh, Stack Cloud, at least in times. You can order a car there. I obviously invite you to do so. Mm -hmm. You will uh, support uh, OpenStack a lot by this. Yeah. Are you handing out discounts here? Because uh, <laughs> I'm in the market for a new car, actually. So. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we'll see. Um, <laughs> there is an application which is quite interesting. Uh, I talked about services, uh, online services for, for customers, where you can actually use your mobile phone to enroll to these services inside the car. Before, you, you had to to go to your laptop and stuff. Now you get your mobile, you get a QR code on, uh, on the navigational gear. Um, we call it in-car enrollment. Oh. Um, yeah, this is. I need navigation too. That sounds good. Uh, <laughs> so tell us a little about the results. I mean, it sounds like you're running some really cool applications on there. You have the developers working. What, uh, what have you achieved through the last couple of years? Uh, so first of all, um, um, I'm quite proud of what uh, the team achieved. We, we did an awesome job, uh, I think, or they did an awesome job. We provide um, infrastructure that, that actually works, um, at least most of the time. <laughs> um, a lot of people 
approach me and say, okay, it's one of the easiest IT solutions I had uh, to use in Volkswagen Group uh, for quite some time. What I'm particularly cr proud of, and we had a lot of help with this, um, is that the cloud itself is provided as infrastructure as code. So it's not that we go there and install a, a node manually. It is everything done uh, automatically, including network, including Ceph. Everything is done automatic, and this helps us a lot, uh, speeding up the process of rolling out. And we are considerably cheaper than, than public cloud. Yeah. So over three years, you have to have had some challenges. Can you share a little bit about that with us and, and what you've learned in the process? Um, yeah, uh, sure, I can. Um, so the biggest constraint is um, uh, the talent to manage uh, uh, the infrastructure and infrastructures on top. It is um, quite a scarce um, talent to get. Uh, we are struggling to find, uh, to find people who can do this. On the technical side, uh, it, I think it's upgrades. Um, they uh, pose the biggest challenge. We have two clouds which are on uh, Newton already, and one with this, uh, which is on Mitaka. Um, we are actually upgrading this by splitting it in half and upgrading one half and then moving workloads from one to another, which is quite tedious. Um, so I think the the real challenge is to do it in place without major disruption of workloads. We haven't done this so far. We have to align the, all these before, but we are quite confident that we will manage this soon. Well, everyone says after Newton you're, you're on the right track, so we'll have to catch up with you in a few months. <laughs> all keep fingers crossed. Yeah. So uh, are you working with anyone in this process? Yeah, we do have partners, obviously. Um, we do deploy uh, Mirantis OpenStack and all their deployment frameworks and stuff. Uh, it's called uh, Mirantis OpenStack Platform. Uh, we use Huawei as a uh, uh, hardware uh, mm -hmm. provider, both for networking and for um, servers, storage, and stuff. OK. Do you have any other technology choices that you've made within the stack? Yes. Uh, so apart from what, what everybody is using, Nova and stuff, Glance, we started off with OVS, mm -hmm. uh, which worked quite good uh, and changed to Contrail, open Contrail in this case, uh, while moving there, because we strongly see that our customers need um, Cloud Federation on let's say, a tenant level. Um, this faced uh, uh, us some challenges regarding stability. And uh, I now think, as most of you might as well, that networking uh, problems are the hardest to, uh, to troubleshoot in OpenStack. It was, really, uh, it was really giving us headaches. We think we are good now. We are using Ceph for storage. Okay. So what are the next steps? What are you going to be working on you know, in the coming year or two? So one context is, uh, is what, um, what people regard as infrastructure. They see that it's not only compute and networking and stuff. It's Kubernetes, databases, whatever. It's all infrastructure. And we see that we have challenges to provide some of these, um, uh, of these services with good quality, uh, so we are struggling there. We will look at IoT, in particular IoT for production, mm -hmm. because we see that it's not, not something which can be done in public cloud um, for latency reasons, mostly. Yeah. Well, IoT and Edge will definitely be a popular topic here this week, so I think you can dig into it. Uh, and speaking of that, I asked you yesterday, you know, just. What are the sessions you want to see this week, or what are the really important topics you want to talk to people about? So I thought it would be interesting for you to share those as well. So yeah, uh, I'm interested in, in hybrid cloud. We, we definitely do hybrid. We, we don't only do uh, a public um, or a private. Uh, how people actually back up data in OpenStack, how um, they do this. Um, and I would like to know how people provide 
services, in particular databases with rec applications over different clouds. This would be something which I'd like to hear about. So I also heard that uh, Tillman is hiring for his team, if you didn't hear the, the talent constraints earlier. So if you're looking this week, then definitely come find him. Might be sending a couple of people your way. Or if you're interested in these topics, we really appreciate you coming to, to share your story today. And I know that you'll be here at the summit this week and looking to meet people and, and get involved in the community. So thank you. Yeah, thanks again.